ladies. I hope you're doing well today. Hope you're staying warm. It's really cold here, so I know people in the north are really cold, colder than us. But today I'm doing a video for Wonton Wednesday, the collaboration with Vicky's Country Home, Our Wandering Footprints, Diane the Canning Nana, myself, Teresa's Stay at Home Life, and Coco Noel. And today, well, I have lots of ideas. But today, I think I'm going to go with an apple pie wonton. Um, egg roll. I don't know if it's going to be an egg roll or wonton. But uh, anyway, I'll let you know. We'll get started. And I hope you enjoy. All my ingredients pretty much laid out. I'm going to use, I just want to show you, this is the apples I'm going to use. I'm going to use two Granny Smith and one Honey Crisp. Because uh, that's all I have right now. And I'm going to use the juice of one lemon. So I'm going to peel these and chop them up finely. And then we'll go to the yeah, next I peeled my apples. You want to have about three cups of apples. So it doesn't have to be exact. And uh, I'm going to cook these. But before, I, and I'm going to chop them up small. But before I do, I'm going to put the lemon juice on. And that will keep them uh, from turning brown. And I actually, I like the little bit of lemon tart that it gives. So I like to do this first. And that's, you know, if you don't like that much lemon, then just put like a tablespoon so I'll do this and then I'm going to take them out and chop them up really fine and then we're going to uh, add the rest of the ingredients. See, I've chopped them up pretty small um, because I want them to fit well in the uh, the uh, egg roll wrapper. And uh, I'm going to, I have a recipe, but I got it from Yumly, but I'm going to uh, alter it a little bit because it calls for a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar, but I'm going to add... Uh, an eighth of a cup of granulated sugar and then I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar. I think it will give it a, a little bit more flavor. Just a couple of tablespoons. Actually, I'm going to put like uh, one more. Four tablespoons of brown sugar. I think that's about an eighth of a cup. Okay, let me get this out of my way. I'm trying to hurry because uh, it's it's actually snowing a little bit outside and we might lose power. Now, I'm also gonna use some of my homemade apple pie jam. And it has cinnamon in it already. Oh, and it smells so good. And you can see the consistency. I'm gonna add some of this in here. It's gonna give it more flavor and help it bind together, I think. And it's got quite a, bit, quite a bit of sugar in it already. Let me taste it. Oh, it's good. And I have a video on this apple pie jam, and it's really good. So since that has cinnamon in it already, I'm, I'm going to add just a pinch of cinnamon. I don't want too much. And then for the binder, we're going to add about two tablespoons of flour. You could add cornstarch. I'm going to add that and of course you know I always have to add my vanilla extract I'm going to add just a little bit not much and a pinch of salt and I saw some people add cardamom which I do not like cardamom at all so I'm going to stir this together and I still have that lemon in there to give it that tang and I have uh, about three tablespoons of butter on the stove. I'm going to cook this just for a little while, just to soften the apples just a little and to get it to thicken up. And uh, I'll show you that process. Let me move you to the stove. Add these to my pot. And if it releases too much water and you have to add a little bit more flour, then it's okay. You know, you just kind of go with the thickness you like because you don't want it to be leaking all over here, egg roll. And I decided that I think I'm going to, the recipe calls for frying them, but I think I'm going to bake a few just to compare the, the uh, difference. And I know it's healthier to bake them. And we can see when we do the taste test, which one's better. Oh, and this is my bowl of uh, sugar and cinnamon. I'm going to coat these when they come out of the oil. But I also used a little bit of homemade vanilla sugar. See, I have a vanilla bean in here. It's delicious. I didn't add too much because uh, you don't want it to be too sweet. 
So let me cook these down for a few minutes and then we're gonna spread it on a pan. I may put it in the freezer just to cool it off quickly. And uh, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, I've been cooking the apples for about uh, seven minutes. And I wanted to uh, show you that I forgot to add a little, just a pinch of nutmeg. I think it add great flavor. I like to use the fresh nutmeg. And it doesn't take much. Nutmeg is uh, fairly strong. I mean, unless you like a lot, you can put as much as you want. I just like a pinch of it. That's probably about an eighth of a teaspoon. But I think I, that's about all I'm going to cook them. They're, uh, they're soft enough, I believe. So I'm going to turn them off. And I don't know if you can see, up here I have a pan with parchment paper. And I'm going to just take this and dump it in this pan. Try to, anyway without making a mess. And uh, this is supposed to make about 12 egg rolls. I don't know if I'm gonna make that many, but I'm gonna spread this out. And uh, I'm actually gonna throw it in the freezer for a second to let it chill down completely so I can roll it up. Yeah, so we'll be sure you have a, just a little, uh, I don't know how much oil that is, a couple of cups, I guess, but I've got that on medium high. I'm going to start heating it up, and we're going to start uh, rolling our egg rolls. I'm trying to position you so you can see everything. It's kind of hard in my kitchen. I apologize, but my filling is cooled off, so I'm ready to get started. I think I'm going to put on this rack here, and uh, I don't... I don't think I'm going to have enough feeling for 12 egg rolls, but we'll see. Oh, and I need one more plate. With, for my tongs. I try to get everything ready when I'm cooking. I like to be completely prepared. And this one looks like it's bent a little bit. So, my filling turned out really nice. You can see it's really good I tasted it it's not too sweet it's, it's really good I like the apples the granny Smith apples so you can make you know you can make them as fat as you want and I'm gonna brush them today you can use just water cornstarch and water uh, I'm using an egg wash I find that it's easier for me to brush along the edges and I'm not the best at rolling these, but I am trying to get better. And I don't know if I've ever rolled something this soft, actually, in the middle. And the, to bake some, I'm going to brush them with uh, some coconut oil that I heated up. That's pretty small. So we'll see. I'm just going to place it here. Oh, that one might be too small. We'll see. So I'm going to brush the other one. I'm going to put a little bit more filling in this one. Because we don't need a ton of these. That's, that's for sure. I'm sure you could make these and freeze them. If you wanted to. Be a nice little snack. I find the egg works really well. Making them stick. Oh, I lost an apple. So that one turned out about the same a little bit bigger, but so I'll do one more. I don't want to bore you. Let's put that apple back in the center. I, I don't know if these are going to be like, uh, you know, the, the McDonald's. I haven't had one of those pies in years, but I know that when I was younger, I used to really like the pies. Uh, and they had that glaze with the cinnamon sugar on the outside. I, I really want to make some fried apple pies with the with the uh, glaze on the outside with a pie crust. I haven't got around to that one, but that's going to be one of my videos one day. But first I have to practice. So that's what I'm going to roll these up and let my oil heat up and then I'll okay, be back. I have my oil heating on the stove. It's almost at 350 or 375. 
probably 350 and I'm gonna I sprayed this rack with cooking oil spray and I'm gonna take these egg rolls and try not to make a mess and I melted some coconut oil and I'm just gonna brush them lightly on both sides actually and see if that'll help them crisp up and I only made 10 egg rolls out of this recipe I didn't my honey crisp apple was kind of small and my oven is heated to 400 and I'm using the convection oven I just want to do a test and bake some and fry some and see how they turn out if they turn out at all and I'm gonna I don't know how long I'm gonna bake them I'll let you know um, I'm just gonna bake them until they turn a little brown and uh, they hopefully crisp up and then I'll roll them in the cinnamon and sugar so I think I'm gonna do one more I think I'm gonna just do half and half five baked and five fried and that one's leaking I don't know how well I did wrapping these The only thing I don't have is homemade vanilla ice cream. I have to, I had to buy some. So let me put these in the oven and then I'll show you when I start frying. Okay, my oil is about 375. So I'm going to go ahead and drop one in. And uh, it may leak a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do one first and then. Use my arm. These don't take long to fry. That egg roll, I don't know if you watched that video, but the egg roll I made, the pork and beef egg rolls, those were excellent. So if you missed that video, please watch it because it's a really good recipe. I'm really having fun with this wonton Wednesday. There's all kind of ideas out there. My daughter wanted to just dessert uh, egg roll tonight, so that's why I'm making these. Oh, I need to check my oven. I'm going to flip these, too, while they're making. Oh, we're not even close to flipping yet. I'm trying to see my... This thermometer is not the best. It's hard for me to... Yeah, it's about 375. And it depends on how brown you want them. It's how long you want to fry it. So I'll show you this one and then show you how I'm going to coat it. And you could make a caramel sauce for these, a vanilla sauce for these. You could put powdered sugar on top. I just kind of like the cinnamon sugar idea. Whoops, it looks leaking. Put on my apron. So I'm gonna take this one out, let it drip just for a second, and then I'm gonna drop it in the cinnamon and sugar, and I'm gonna put a new one in, and then I'll be back and show you what I'm doing. These are the fried ones dipped in the sugar, vanilla sugar and cinnamon, and these are the baked ones. Now I might should have cut slits like you do in an apple pie, you know, to let the steam out. And uh, but they did crisp up. I'm gonna dip these in cinnamon sugar, and then we'll do a taste. In result, the baked ones leaked a little bit, but they turned out pretty crispy, and they are healthier. The cinnamon and sugar didn't stick as much because there wasn't as much oil. Uh, the, these are the fried ones, and I fixed a bowl with ice cream, and you can see the inside, the apple filling. It's uh, really good. I'm gonna do a taste test, but I think I forgot the spoon. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I might have to eat this with my hands. First one tastes the ice cream. And let me know below what your favorite ice cream is. I'll tell you mine later. But it is vanilla. So I'm just going to eat it with my hands, take a bite, and dip it in the ice cream.
Mmm. I mean, it's a little chewy. The, the apple filling is not too sweet. I like the little lemon flavor you get in the back, the background. And uh, of course, apple pie always goes with vanilla ice cream. It's the best. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. Bye.